My name's Joseph A. Perugini, and I've been playing music most of my life. I really love what I do, and in my most recent project, I met a wonderful group of people that also really love what they do. This is my journal of recording with producer Ron Nevison and the AT. I've been playing shows and releasing albums since around 2004, and initially met Ron a few months prior to our project. We talked about him possibly producing two of my songs for me, and it was pretty cool. Ron was a really cool down-to-earth guy that really believed in what I was doing, and it really meant the world to me that he wanted to help me turn them into something truly greater than they had ever been before. So he had assembled what he called the A-Team consisting of engineer Ken Sluter, assistant engineer Ben O'Neill, drummer Denny Fongheiser, keyboardist Oleg Ginsberg, guitar and bassist Tim Pierce, and composer Jeff Bova, and invited me out to Los Angeles to record. Now me, living in Jersey most of my life, I never traveled out to the West Coast, so I said to myself, I, I have to give it a shot. Took out all the funds I had saved up for my music and decided to book the first flight out to LA to pursue my dream. This was truly about to be an adventure. So uh, when I arrived in LA, it was a lot different than back home. I'd only heard things, but never actually seen it. I booked myself on a tour and went sightseeing my first day just to go you know, check out everything that I'd heard about in the movies. Some of the places I viewed the outside of on um, one of those $25 Hollywood sightseeing tours I went on were actually some of the places that Ron had talked to me about working in, you know, the rest of my time there. So it was at that moment that I felt truly honored knowing that come tomorrow I'd be working behind the scenes in Hollywood. So, uh, when I arrived at the studios and movie lots, exceeding all my expectations, they were nothing short of amazing. The history was amazing, the equipment was amazing, I was also about to find out that the team we had lined up for this project was also nothing short of amazing. This was a very big thing for me and I intended on doing the best job that I could possibly do. I was really excited to meet everybody, and you know, I hope that they were just as excited to meet me. <laughs> oh, come on in, you guys. Welcome to Bovo Wood. Oh, who's here? Okay, what's up there, guys? Now it was down to the task at hand. 10, sometimes 12 hour work days in the studio, playing, listening, creating, concentrating, but most importantly, following the direction to the common goal. It's hard work, but it's fun work. Everybody shared that same idea. We all loved what we were doing. We would record, then discuss, and record, then discuss. Every step of the way, Ron would direct our meetings of the minds. Everyone shared a common goal of getting these songs to reach their fullest potential. So right off the bat, this was a win-win situation. So all 
all in all, I'd have to say that this has been an amazing experience, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Thanks to Ron, Ken, Ben, Candace, Denny, Oleg, Tim and Jeff, we now present to you Dead and All Alone Again. Hope you enjoy.